Douglas Spencer here with another virtual check-in where I typically make my commitment to staying positive. That has been a challenge over the last week. It's hard to stay positive when my fellow Americans continue to die because of the color of their skin, where riots erupt on my streets, on the streets in which I live, where we have a president who will work actively to silence media platforms that dare call him out on his lies, and the same president who will use the U.S. military against U.S. citizens exercising their First Amendment right to peaceful free speech and gathering all so he can have a photo op in front of a church with a Bible that he no doubt had to borrow from someone else. Are you surprised that I am going there in what is typically a professional um, uh, me social media challenge? Well, don't be, because yesterday, as I said in a blog post, the times have changed and we can no longer pretend that best practice is avoiding um, tough or political topics. Companies, organizations have a moral obligation to make it clear what they find intolerable and, by their silence, tolerable. And if that's not enough to motivate you, please know that the new generation of consumers is requiring it more and more. So by not staying silent on what I think is wrong, that's one of the ways I will commit to staying positive. I hope you stay positive. I hope you stay healthy. And I hope you do keep the faith that we will find our way through this, which seems to get worse and worse every day. But we will. Black lives matter. Our democracy matters.